Tarantulas originate from all areas of the world, from the rainforests of Brazil to desert areas in North Venezuela. Many of these spiders are now kept in households as pets. Even though a lot of people are scared of spiders, most people find them fascinating. They are very easy to look after compared to domestic pets such as cats and dogs. Also compared to these pets, uh, they are inexpensive to look after. Not many people are aware of how easy and cheap they are to obtain. Once a tarantula has a stable enclosure, they will lay web and create a home for themselves. If you were to leave the lid off one of these containers, the tarantula won't escape. This is because the tarantula has already settled into its new home. Housing depends on the size of the tarantula. An average size baby, known as a spiderling, would measure around 15 millimeters. They would only need a small enclosure of around two to three inches. However, an adult can measure up to 10 inches, meaning a much bigger home will be needed. I've always purchased tarantulas from the internet. I've had a few in the past few years, and I've learned how to look after them from researching online. Uh, you can find care sheets for different species of tarantulas everywhere. There's hundreds of them all over the internet. Tarantulas like to burrow, so soil is used within an enclosure. Most species originate from humid weather conditions, so spraying the soil regularly and keeping the area well heated will create this atmosphere for the tarantula. As long as tarantulas always have water to hydrate them, so if, if you keep the water bowl topped up, they can go several weeks or even months without eating. Tarantula's appearance range in many colours. This can be white areas on the legs like the Brazilian white knee, or brighter colours like seen on the green bottle blue which resembles blue legs and an orange body. If you have a, a lot of tarantulas or reptiles, you can purchase live food from the internet in bulk. But I always buy it from my local exotic pet shop, because I've only got a few tarantulas. Uh, most pet shops will sell live food. I've always fed mine uh, crickets and locusts, and sometimes cockroaches. When a tarantula catches its food, it injects venom into it which will paralyse or even kill the insect, making it easier for the spider to feed on. After feeding, the spider will lay web where it was broken during the capture of its food. These spiders are relatively docile, although if provoked, they can bite. If bitten by one, this would only be as bad as a bee sting. The hairs on the spider's body can be irritable to human skin, although many tarantulas cause no harm at all. Tarantulas shed their exoskeleton which allows them to increase in size. This process is called molting and can take up to a week to happen. When a spider is in pre-molt, they won't eat. 